Hi, I thought I'd share with you a picture of me uh, getting ready to go out to a Shades of Success banquet that was wonderful the other night, and I am just having a fantastic time with it. Anyway, today I am going to talk about my pantry tomato basil soup. And I call it pantry tomato basil soup because I decided that I was going to use up as many of my staples in my pantry as possible without going to the store. And this is the recipe I got. What happened is that I went out to lunch and I had tomato basil soup uh, as part of my entree. And it was wonderful. And I am growing all this basil at home, so I decided why not make it. So what I'm doing is taking things from my pantry and making use of it. The recipe is going to call for garlic cloves and olive oil and onions and green onions and some butter, canned diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, some pepper, a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity, Salt if you like, I never added any. A can of cream of chicken soup, you could just as well use cream of mushroom soup or cream of celery soup if you have it at home, or if you've got tomato soup at home, that's a possibility too. And then a quarter of a cup of chopped fresh basil or about 20 big basil leaves is what I used. Now, I got my green onions from my garden, so here's a picture of my small little area of my green onions. I use leaves to mulch the ground. I also have some basil in the ground in my kunkel culture bed to see how that works, and this is basil in a grow bag. Do an experiment, so if you take a look at a couple of my gardening videos, you'll be able to see that happen. So I took some of the garlic and the onion and I sauteed them in the garlic infused olive oil. And while that was slowly sauteing, I took the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes, the tomato sauce, and the cream of chicken soup, and I put them in the blender. And then after I put them in the blender, I added the basil. And I had, like I said, I had about, pulled out about 20 leaves that I've washed, or you can find fresh basil or dry. Dry is not so good. And then I used the blender and I put it on high and put it on icy drink. Blend until smooth. The basil didn't pulverize, so maybe I'll use my Ninja RX next time. So about this time, the garlic and onion were ready to add to the tomato mixture, so I added that. And then I blended on high until smooth. And I mean, ultimate high. I added the four tablespoons of butter to the pan uh, that I cooked the garlic and the onions in. I, I never want to, you know, add more, use more pans than necessary. So when I started out with this awesome cast iron pan of mine. It's, it's heavy and it's got a blue coating on the outside, kind of like the La Crusette cookware, but this one was a lot less expensive. Um, and I put it in there and let them let it melt. And then I added the tomato mixture. And once I put that in, then I slowly stirred, stirred it and I let it simmer. I didn't let it go to a rolling boil. I just let it get to a light boil and I thickened it just a little bit more. You can thicken it until you decide what you want. When ready, place it in the bowl, add a little chopped basil to the top and serve it with, you know, um, French bread or crackers. But let me tell you, this was absolutely delicious. I was not disappointed. I, in fact, I gave my own self a pat on the back. Like you to try this recipe, you know, or your version of this recipe, and why don't you post it below. If you like this video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. This is Beverly Fells Jones. I hope you join me again soon. Mm -hmm.